Hey, this is Steven from Runaway Games, and today we're going to talk about how you can use ChatGPT to generate trivia questions for your next pub trivia, family trivia night, team building, you name it. We can generate trivia questions for everything. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is actually just log into ChatGPT. ChatGPT, for those of you that don't know, is completely free. Um, and so all you need to do is create an account and you will be presented once you get logged in with a screen that looks like this. So we're just gonna start a new chat. And uh, first thing we need to do is we need to think about, okay, if we need some trivia questions, obviously we're probably gonna want a category. So let's assume that today we're trying to generate 10 trivia questions in a category called Animal Kingdom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start prompting ChatGPT to give us a few trivia questions. Generate 10 trivia questions in a category called Animal Kingdom. Okay, now let's see what we get here. Great, we got 10 trivia questions and it uh, looks like the last one has to do with a collective noun for a group of cows, I love it. Okay, now what we're gonna do is let's see if we can get them to put, get ChatGPT to put the answer after because I have no idea what the answers are. Um, regenerate the questions, um, but Okay, let's see if that kind of a prompt will get it to do. Okay, great. So now we've got questions, we've got answers. Great. Um, but I, I don't like this formatting. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I don't like the bullet point. Um, so what I'm going to do is just give it this so that it just kind of eliminates the bullet points for me. That's perfect. Okay, now we've got this. Now, if you're like me, one of the things that, we, that I like to do is generate um, multiple choice options because, uh, you know, some people like to do, you know, just like a fill in the blank type thing, but other people like to do multiple choice. So I always like to give people that optionality. So let's generate some multiple choice questions for each answer. Regenerate um, the questions and this time, after each answer. So let's see if we can get uh, some multiple choice options. Yes, we can, fantastic. And uh, it looks like the only problem is that for some of the questions, the correct answer is not in the answer, but for some of them, it is. Okay, let's do this. Okay, now it's done it without the answer. Okay, now let's just tell it to do all this. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Okay, Kodiak bear, African Greg parrot, Africa. Okay, finally, we've got ourselves into a nice, beautiful format that we like. Okay, so what we're going to do now is now that we've got the format that we like, let's go ahead and have ChatGPT remember the format. And then we can go in and actually talk about the questions, which questions we like, how easy or difficult they are. Okay, now remember this format. Um, where the multiple power form. Great. Okay, 
Okay, perfect. So now we've got the chat GPT to remember our format. Now let's start thinking about if we like some of these questions. Well, I really like this question because I've never heard of that one. A murder of cows. Um, cheetah, okay, great. C cannot re fully retract its claws. That's kind of interesting. Um, sea creature that has three hearts and blue blood. That's interesting as well. Um, we'll kind of take this one. Chat GPT is generating some good questions for us right off the bat. Uh, mammal, okay. Venomous snake, hood and deadly bite. Scientific name for the elephant. Okay, that's interesting. Um, fastest land animal, giraffes, African gray parrot, okay, and Kodiak bear. Okay, now let's say, for example, that we like these questions, but maybe they're not hard enough for us. Maybe some of these questions are a little bit too easy. So let's generate some questions that are a little bit harder. In our format, making sure that we get them in the right format. Whoa. Okay. So now it's asking, okay, give us the thing. Which format do you like? Uh, oh, which response do I prefer? So now they're giving me a choice that I can make. Um, let's just say that I don't mind. Uh, I like this one. So let's just say that one. Okay. Now, so we've gotten some harder questions. Which mammal has the longest gestation period up to 22 months? Okay, that's kind of interesting. The African elephant, I like that one. Um, we'll go ahead and save that. Name of the organ in birds that grinds before digest, grinds food. That's really interesting. Let's do that one. And that's kind of cool as well, because this is the first question that we've seen whereby the name of the animal is not in the answer choices. So let's use this as an example. Let's actually go ahead and have ChatGPT generate 10 more questions like this. Generate more Animal Kingdom questions in a, in a style that, uh, such that the name of the animal is not the answer. Here's an example. All right, now let's see. We've given it an example, which I think is something that we always want to do. And now, hey, look at this. Uh, we are now generating questions in a different type of format all the way all the way around, a different style of question. So ChatGPT started off giving us questions that are like, what animal is known for this? What animal is known for that? Then we started seeing that it started giving us something slightly different. What is the name for the organ of the bird that grinds food? And so then I said, hey, I like that format. Give me more questions in that format. And I gave it that as an example. And if you look at this now, we're getting some really interesting questions that are have nothing to do with actually what animal is this. So we've gone from kind of a level one, what animal is the fastest in the world? to something like a second order of, of, of trivia question, which is, you know, what organ and fish helps in maintaining buoyancy by regulating gas levels? So there's really a lot of different ways that we can think about these trivia questions. And there's a number of different prompts that you've seen here that can help you actually use ChatGPT to get those different types of questions that you may want, and always to remember those types of questions in the exact format that works for you. So we'll stop here. Uh, I've got to I've got to grab some more trivia questions because these are amazing. And I, I have to say thank you so much. Um, you've seen here how to generate trivia questions with ChatGPT. If for whatever reason you don't want to bother, you don't want to waste the time, uh, spend the time generating all these types of different trivia questions, uh, you can actually look and we've done a bunch ourselves already. We've generated a ton of trivia questions. We give a lot of them away for free. I'll link it into the description below. And so for uh, Stephen, I will say to you, happy trivia and have a great time. Uh, have a great time in your trivia party.